Welcome to Dave's Diaries in France. Enjoy the video. Good morning, everyone. Dave's Diaries in France. Clean shaven, look at that, it's beautiful. Anyway, I'm at our tour upper today, and um, just, just some minor stuff. I'm not sanding today, I just really don't feel like it. Um, I just don't feel like it. So I'm doing stuff downstairs in our tour upper, and in, in, down here, where the bathroom's going to be, um, we've got a gap here, and I need to fill that gap before I scrim it. So I'm going to glue some of this uh, backing board. It's like insulated backing board. This is to go into bathrooms actually, to line your bath, bathroom. I've got bits, bits floating around here and there. I'm just going to glue this and put it in the gap here, and then scrim over the top. Scrim, he says. Scrim, this is scrim tape. It's better than the the rubbish normal tape that you use in France or anywhere in the world. I find this better. It's stronger, uh, it's easier to deal with, it's already adhesive, it's got, it, it sticks to plasterboard and then you can you know, mud over it, skim over it. So that's what I'm going to do. This here, it's just this gap here, so it's all the way along. So, I'm going to do that now. Right, let's crack on with this then. Ba, ba, ba. Construction adhesive. This will do nicely. Need a rag. Don't want that to uh, cause me issues. Do I? I mean, this is going to be lined anyway, so it doesn't really matter. A little one here because there's. Oh, excuse me. Oh, excuse me. Right, let's check the fitment of the next one. Yeah, beautiful. Noise. Uh, I wanted a. Oh, that'll do it. Just to get rid of that. And more of a. Okay. Next bit, let's just double check. That's useful. 
So, Trust me, it will stick. It's just to fill the gap, that's all. Now I need another piece. Okay. there because there's a joist there that works straight Nice. And if you're unsure it's gonna not gonna hold, just use one of these. There we go. Keep them in place. Then I will as soon as that's dry, scrim it. Scrim it! Next job. The air vent outside needs, this air vent, needs a silicone, how can I put it, seal around it. So I'm going to silicone it. See this here? Water can get in around here. So I'm just gonna got one of these tools. They're great by the way. And just silicone. Just around here. This is uh, exterior, doesn't have to be clear. That's the former seal. Oh, yeah, more for the shirt. All right, let's go around this side.
This is supposed to retract. It's um, stopped. Well, mistakes happen. My fault. What a what a dick. Let's get that up. Let's leave it is. Right. See, I'm an accident waiting to happen. Bloody crazy. I'll finish with this for the time being. Throw it into a glove. Oh, wrong finger. Glove, a bit of tape. And keep it sealed. As tight as you can. Job done, sealed. Now that should keep. In theory. Yes, I know the place is a mess. Right, let's get the singlet off of me. Dropping down, dropping down. And I need it. There we go. Is that one dropping too? Well, it's a good job I've got another problem. Da 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 da. all fine so all I'm going to do today I'm going to sand all these bits like this that need sanding and then I'm going to scrim around the top I've already done this this area here I've got to do that one obviously this one here all in the corners done that one down there see that's I use tape for that and I'm not happy with it and I used screwing for that. So I'm going to do that.
still got to do this last piece on this side. But we're getting there. Right, let's give everything a quick wipe. I'm sure I've got some wipes to get some wipes. Don't know where the wipes are. She's going to scream everything first, but other stuff got in the way. Just haven't had the time. Crazy, crazy! I'm not going to bore you with the rest of it, so I'll carry on and uh, do the scrimming, and then I'll put some mud on. Yeah, I forgot to put the camera on. Sorry. Uh, put the scrim up. Um, scrim, that's the scrim. Um, and I've done that side. Scrim's up here. Uh, I've got to scrim the corner and scrim that and this area here. And there are several ways I'm doing it. Sorry, I, I've had the radio one as well. You, with YouTube, you can't listen to the radio and record. So I've got a little roller, little roller, and I just roll along the edges just to get some penetration. Heavily plaster it in. It is effectively plaster. And then, uh, oh, uh, and just keep on going. Mm. And where the plaster, some plaster boards you get a dip, an indentation on the edge, where it grabs that functionality to put a bit more plaster on. But these two edges don't. That edge does. These two edges don't. So, don't mind me. I'll crack on now. I'll probably up the speed of this now, to be honest.
that also is the other way. Use the smoothing trowel to get into the corner and do what you want it to do, which I'll demonstrate now. So, Chad, what bit in? Press, pull it out. What bit in? Press, pull it out. Come down. Residual. Pop it in, press, pull it out. Residual, press, pull in. See? But my rhythm, because I'm, because I'm a cripple, let me move the camera slightly. Because I'm a cripple with my shoulder, wrist, elbow, whatever you want to call it, finger, I have to use two hands, which is, uh, don't shame. back if I spot anything I have the tools to sort it out anyway that's the end of my instructional video today um, if you would like to um, give me a, a like thumbs up uh, and subscribe then go for it there's gonna be plenty of this to go to do even just lots of it and I've got to deal with the mold so give me a like subscribe please I want to get up to a thousand but 300 or so at the moment, it's, uh, it's not doing, doing my health any <laughs> good. So, on that note, I will bid you adieu and I will see you in the next one. Ta-ta for now.